Hey everyone, this is Weston. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, thank you so much for visiting. Today, this is going to be a video on the Quark Pro. This is their QP2LX series. This is probably one of the top everyday carry lights out there, in my opinion. If you're not going to go for one of the little minis, which is a, every, a pocket light to me, something that's going to go inside your pocket, if you're going to carry something in a pack or for duty or anything like that, this series of 4.7s, their quarks, are just amazing lights for the money. I have been more than satisfied. And this light is not brand new right here. I'm doing this review about a year after I bought this light. And I actually have the same set of batteries that came with this light still in here. I can't seem to wear them out, but it's probably because I use the light in one of the modes I'm about to talk about. Now, this light is up a little more in price than one of the Quark Minis. I'm sure this light will run you probably 60 or 70 bucks now. They have several different series of it. Here's the box it came in. I'll just give an overview of the box. It's a 360 lumen light. So, it, the, what I went for is the run time. They have another model of this, but the run time is just astronomical on this light, and we'll talk about that. Here's the layout of it, what it includes. Then the box opens, which you can read all this if you want to pause it. I'll just go by it. There you go. Then you would see what it looked like right here. Quark Pro QP2LX series. Now, let's open this up and I'll show you what you came with before we talk about the light. There's the box. Here's the little instruction manual it comes with. I'll uh, open it where you can just see what it looks like real fast. You can go through that on your own. There's really not much to operating a flashlight. All right, in the box you get the light, which would be sitting here. You get two batteries. You get a wrist strap and a lanyard. The wrist strap is okay. It's pretty good. The other thing you get are a couple spare O-rings. I have yet to have to use one. With that out of the way, let's go through why I love this light. First off, the number one reason I bought this light is 4.7's underdriven LED technology. Now, they're using these uh, Cree XML LEDs in this one, but what they've done is, like, just as an example, let's say it's a one watt LED. If you give it one watt, it runs at perfect potential. You start taking power away from it and it gets less and less and less. Well, if you run an LED too low, they start to have issues. You have flicker issues, you have light emitting issues, it doesn't want to work right. They have taken a circuit board and actually run this light down to like 0.2 lumens. Now you're thinking 0.2 lumens, they call it moonlight mode if you look on the internet. 0.2 lumens is awesome. This light runs 600 hours on 0.2 lumens and 0.2 lumens is that much right there. It is more than enough to see, more than enough to navigate in the dark. This light tail stands, so if you're in a tent like we are, you can turn that on and you've got more than enough to see around. You don't get blinded in the process. It doesn't spook anything. If it's really dark and you want to read, it's not too much to read with that little bit of light. That is the number one reason I bought this light. I love the ability to have a low light. I mean, everybody is kind of freaking out and going to all these thousand lumen lights. I mean, that's wonderful and great, but what are you going to do with a thousand lumens? I'm sure you can blind somebody, but sometimes you don't need a thousand lumens just to go to the bathroom in the dark or to walk around the campsite, maybe even walk around the house. Now, this light has several different modes. I'm going to go through how you operate it, but first off, I'm going to show you how to disassemble the light. Okay, the rear end here is where your tail cap is. Let's just go over the light first. It's got where you can put a lanyard on both sides, your next knurled ring, a pocket clip, and then your front. This is the body, and here's your front or your head. All right, to take it apart, rotate it counterclockwise or to the left. Here's what your tail cap looks like. Here's what the two saran wrap batteries or vacuum seal batteries came with look like. And then you can take off the head as shown right here. Here's the back of the head. You can see the back of the head looks a little different than the little quark minis. It's got a little bit more stuff to it. There's a view through the middle. Now to take off this um, pocket clip right here, you remove this O-ring, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to do that much on camera. You move this, remove this O-ring, then you take this knurled amount and you turn it to the left until it comes back and the o-ring or the pocket clip snaps off. You cannot reverse it. If you reverse it, it does not work. It just points over the back of the light and you can't get the tail back on it. 
With that, let's put her back together. First off, I put the head on here. I mean, this light has been beat up. I've taken it hog hunting, fishing, camping, everything, and it has not stopped me. Or it has not given me any trouble. Oh, as a matter of fact, it comes with a little carrying case lanyard, which I have in there strapped to my pack. All right, to operate this light, first off, you'll notice that my head of the light here is not touching. The reason so, I have it loosened a hair because you loosen it to go through your normal modes. So you would loosen it and you would turn it on. There'd be your moonlight mode. Then you go up to the next one, next one, and then it gets even brighter. And then I believe if I, it goes to flashing. This is your special modes. Then you go back down and then you turn it back on. You go to a f quick flash. All this has to be within seven seconds, and then we're back to low. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click it on, or it's on. I'm going to click it off and count to seven. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn it back on. It's back in low. But if I click it on, click it off, and under seven seconds, click it on. One, two, three, four, five, six. It goes to the next one then the next one. You can tell there's no more modes left. It goes up, so you have to wait about seven seconds to make it where it won't go to the next mode. So all I'm telling you that is because if you turn it on and it's on low, and then you turn it off, and you're like, oh, I forgot something, you turn it back on, it's going to come back on bright. But if you just sit there and turn it on, see, I did it too quick then. You turn it on, count to seven, see, it's not enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we are, we're back to low. I'm sure that's not seven seconds, but that's just my counting. So the reason I'm telling you that is if you're sitting in the tent and you turn it off and turn it back on, it may be a little too bright. The light does have an orange peel reflector, which helps with your lens, or helps with your light beam. Okay, to access your high beams, which is like the 360 lumens that this light puts out, you rotate your head all the way down till it stops, till it's snug, and then it's on your click. There's your 360 lumens. You can see the light, or this is a camera auto adjusting. There's no way to gauge that. Then you go back through, it goes to your fast strobe. Then you go back to your bright. That's your special modes. I mean, that's when you have it all the way tight. And then to go back to low mode, turn it over. There's your low. Now, here's the deal. If you're in low and you're walking around and you think you see something, a wookalar or a bear, all you do is rotate the head to the right to tighten it, and it will go into bright mode immediately. There is no clicking. There is no guessing. You turn it back, it'll go to low. Turn it up, it'll go to high. You can see the letters moving here. I'll, do, I'll try and do it slow right here. There's low, high, low, high. That, that much turn right there is how much it takes to turn it on to high. That's a great thing. If you need to go high, then turn on strobe, you do it real fast. You have to give it a click. The light will tail stand most of the time. It will tail stand. It's on a towel right now. The pocket clip works wonderful, but the light is exposed. You have to imagine your jeans are going to ride right here or your pair of pants. So you do have something to grab, but it does show. Um, a lot of people I've seen have modified a clip and put it up here, but I think that's a little extravagant. Uh, the light has been swimming a few times. It doesn't give it any trouble. I don't have a glass big enough to put it down in, but, I mean, we can turn it on on bright, and I've got a short glass here. I don't have a glass big enough to submerge it right here. It says it can go down to six feet, or that is, you know, IPX7 standards, which is what it, what it calls it. Um, distance on the box, it says the distance is about 118 meters. You can easily see 150 yards with this light. If nothing else is interfering, you can see a long ways. We use it for when we go hog hunting, and when you have it on bright and you snatch it out, you can see them just fine before you get close enough to even know what's going on. Um, if there's anything else I've missed on here, I don't know. The runtime on the sh high beam is only about two hours. It starts to degrade, and you can see the um, curve going down. But the runtime on low is about 600 hours. Now, I have not tested that because I haven't decided that I wanted to leave a flashlight on for 600 hours. But I have many hundreds of hours on this light as it is right now, and it doesn't have seemed to have phased the batteries one bit. I don't have any problems with mine. The clicker's not worn out. 
It tail stands fine. I do not use the lanyard. I put it in my pocket or the carry case. I usually carry it in a little side pocket or let it sit on my back left on the weak side. And other than that, it's just a great light. The lens has not been scratched when I did carry it in my pocket. I'll turn it on low here where you can see what the lens looks like. A great high quality glass lens. And the bezel's pretty good. I, this light isn't as heavy made as a Surefire or something of that nature, but just a great light all together for everyday carry. You can't go wrong with one of these 4.7s lights. They're a great company, and they make a great product. If you have any questions, hit me up. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is the Quark Pro, and this is their QP2L-X series. they got a lot of different series, so just pick out the one you want and go with it. You can't go wrong. Hit me up. Thank you so much. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Weston out.